So making this for a guy who's asked about shuffle rhythm whilst tone blocking. Um, well, it's no different to puckering in a sense, but you know, I don't want to give misinformation. It is very different. But um, so I'm going to put a link in the in the in the video in the below the video. Um, Adam Gasco's fantastic shuffle rhythm right that's how i started so for so what he gets you doing is uh so it's playing a chord tika So I don't know why they call it a shuffle room. Maybe because it has got the... So, yeah, a chord, hole one, two, and three. But what Adam does, he gets you to pucker hole two. So you need to watch his video. So, wait a I made the video uh, in case somebody's into my videos and they haven't found his video. Just because he's a pucker, purser, Pakura, right? Uh, don't mean to say, right, I'm um, on Tomlin's course, um, you know, um, intermediate level, and nowhere does, it, at this stage, has he mentioned tongue blocking. So all I do is everything that they teach or show, um, he probably only mentions puckering or person as a in the, at the beginner level, um, everything that that is on paperwork or in the videos, I just tongue block it. That's all. So same goes if somebody's got a, a riff a shuffle and they're puckering, I just tongue block it. That's all. So it's the same. When you're doing that, your tongue is is m mobile. Yeah, my, my, my tongue is not on the harmonica. But when I do the... I'm just chucking my tongue on hole one and then drawing hole two. So I don't want to try and show people what Adam does. Go and watch the video. It's going to be in the link. I cannot really add anything better to what he's doing. The uh, one thing I will sort of warn you about is it, it, you watch the first minute and it's magic. What he's doing is magic. Um, and it's it's like a puzzle. It's like a, not, not, not like a puzzle because it's not... Anyone could do it, but it, it's a sequence that you need to do slowly and then build up, gradually get quicker at. Sequence, not a puzzle. Um, so you need some patience, but then, and then some like two or three of the videos, because the first one's fantastic shuffle rhythm for beginners. The next one's like more fantastic shuffle rhythm. And then there's a third one, which is the amazing, fantastic shuffle, something like that. Uh, and then by time, uh, he will tell you that he's doing... <laughs> which is two draw... Three half step bend, two draw, three whole step bend. Um, so uh, he will then say, 
Right, if you're a beginner, you need to go away and practice what's in the first video or two. And this is no longer for beginners because it's got the whole, the half and the whole step bend in the, in, in, in that, in that one, <clears throat> on hole three. So, you know, so, you know, what, so I'm making the video for those that might find this video before they find his, I think it's, it's valuable to go and do it. What's the point of a shuffle? I almost think they're kind of maybe fun. They might have something to do with certain folk music, I guess. Um, um, they're almost like fillers. There's fun. It's not a real song as such. It's it's like a, a jig. It's, uh, oh, it's not a jig. It's, it's like something that you can talk, oh, you know, if you can do it for shuffle for two or three minutes with some bends and with some riffs in it, you can mesmerize people. Um, I lean more towards songs, Irish reels, or blues licks, improvisation, in the blues. Um, because they have like a start, a middle, and a finish. I, I've never learned a shuffle which has a start, a middle, and a finish. I've only ever sort of like sort of given it a go. So I bought a lesson from the harmonica barge. Um, and it, I sort of got that feeling that it wasn't really, uh, nothing wrong with Ed's material. It wasn't speaking to me because I like things to have a, a start, a middle and a finish. It's something to do with my learning style. If it doesn't come across like this is how you start it, this is how you continue, and this is how you finish, how you end it. Then my my mind sort of loses interest in it because you need to find the, you know, how to start it nicely, and you need to find how to end it, sort of thing. That's just me, anyway. So nothing wrong with it. Um, yeah, and and like I've already said, if someone's puckering it, then you can um, tongue block it more or less, apart from it, unless it's ultra fast stuff sort of thing, but so if you're a beginner, Tomlin has a four week uh, beginner course, which involves train rhythms. So, um, uh, Joe Felisco has, I, I, I think, I don't know whether it, is it called Chicago blues or something and it's, it's just got heaps of stuff about train rhythms go and buy it it's it's cheap it's extensive it's not cheap in its um uh, level of quality it's cheap in its price um the, the but the level of quality and quantity is oh yeah there's a lot there um so if you if you if you want I would say if you want to um, get into shuffles, then Alan Gussell's amazing shuffle rhythm. One, because it's for beginners and any beginner can play that. Not exactly as he does, but any anybody could could begin to play what he, he, get, he gets across. I was able to, you know, begin. Um, Joe Flisco's. It's, it's, if you're not sure, because when I when I, I think when I bought it, it's Ch Chicago Blues, I think it's called, and and I was a bit sort of I might be wrong there, so it's worth firing him off an email asking, a, a, you know, which course is best for shuffle rhythms and train rhythms and stuff like that, um, if you're tongue blocking so. So there you go. I hope that's been helpful. My my only point there in mentioning Adam's material is to sign post, post it because it's what I did. I had lots of fun with it and, and I learned basics of going from single note puckering to a chord, single note chord, single note chord. I'm not promoting puckering as a uh, so to speak. Um, I'm a tongue blocker, that's all I can do. So, um, yeah.
yeah, go and go and get it. Go and watch Adam Gusko's video. It's great fun, and he's he's good to watch. Anyway, he's interesting. So there you go. I hope that's answered your question, the guy asking the question. And for anybody else who happens upon this, then maybe I've signposted a few resources for you to go and look at.